in this exercise we will be creating a bridging header which will bridge between the C header and the Swift header. Now for doing that you right click on your project to folder say new file under source you will find something called header file. So we will be creating a header file and a header file have a specific name for bridging. So it starts with project name so for my current project the name is project 2 followed by the hyphen followed by the word bridging followed by the word header. So basically whenever you want to and you have to select the target. So whenever you create the bridging header the format of a bridging header is application name the project name followed by hyphen bridging hyphen header. Now in my Mac I have put the setting of uh, not showing the extension therefore dot h is not been shown. If in your Mac machine you have dot extension to be shown you will find dot h. So once you have created a bridging header you say create. Now this is your bridging header here you have to say hash import SQLite 3 dot h. So all your C library will be import here and this bridging header you need to register in your project settings. Okay, so when a project will get compiled, this header will get import and a bridging between your C code and your Swift code will be accomplished. So in order to do that, you have to click on your project setting, select your target, go in your build settings, make sure in your build setting all is selected. Now here you start searching for bridging. So when you search for bridging, you will find a property called Objective C bridging headers. Click on your value side give the path the path is project to slash project to hyphen bridging right hyphen header dot h so this basically becomes your path so basically when a compilation will happen the compiler will take the headers from the project to hyphen bridging hyphen headers dot h and will try to import the library properly into your object framework and then all your C function will be able all your SQLite 3 function will be able to execute in your Swift code. Similarly you have to go in your project settings again in your build settings make sure all is selected bridging select add. once you have done this say command S and say command B. So once you build your project the build becomes successful that means all your variables are now these functions are declared in your library so the import of your SQLite 3 can happen properly through bridging headers so in future if you are importing any C library you have to create a bridging header import the C life frameworks or the library in your bridging header in your settings you just have to put that bridging header path and that's it. So in your next exercise, we'll, we'll see what is this SQLite database do, do and what is the significance of this and how to create database in iOS.